Hello everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this video I want to talk about machine learning, data science, artificial intelligence, what these fields are and how can you get started with this. Okay, so yeah, let's get into the video. So uh, you want to uh, get started with machine learning, right? First of all, I want to ask you what is your definition of machine learning and you know, artificial intelligence or whatever you are thinking of. Well, what most people think is that artificial intelligence is creating uh, a synthetic human being, okay? Creating something that can mimic the human behavior, okay? And that is not the best way to look at it, okay? When you think about artificial intelligence, when you think about machine learning, uh, what we are really trying to do here is that we are trying to create systems that can automate things, right? Uh, let's just take an example of uh, a self-driving car. The self-driving car uh, will be a feature that would try to learn something that humans do, which is driving a car, right? And it would try to perfect it at a point at which uh, we humans would not have to interfere and we can automate this particular thing because it is tedious if you are, you know, going on for a long drive or something, but this can get tedious okay so we have automated that using uh, self-driving cars and we are doing research for it right now as well but uh, what we have what we are really trying to do over here is that we are trying to reduce human effort right when uh, the machine will be driving the car the person the human being can do something else in that particular time that could be checking emails or like whatever that person wants to do but the main point here is to reduce human effort right that's what we've been doing since the beginning of uh, the whole tech renaissance okay so yeah let's uh, that is something that is really important for you to understand next let's talk about how can you get started first of all you need to understand that you have to master a language okay you have to master a programming language in which you can code in which you can you know make these uh, applications you can make these models right the most famous language that you can learn is python right python is the most uh, omnipresent language it is the most easiest to learn and you will have a lot of fun learning that language i myself learned it a, a year ago and i really enjoy it even to uh, this state right so first of all learn uh, python okay you can take up a udemy course on python they are really great uh, and yeah you know just just learn python and understand how it works make a, a couple of projects so, so so that you understand how to implement python on a project and once you've done that once you've understood how a language works what are the you know things like functions and loops and uh, object oriented programming once you know these concepts then you can move on to learning about machine learning and data science then you have to learn about uh, some uh, libraries that are offered by python right these are uh, numpy and th the second one is called as pandas the third one is called as matplotlib these libraries allow you to you know do some do some uh, you know crunching up the numbers uh, you can call it but basically we have a lot of data right uh, basically what happens is that with machine learning we have lots of data about something and we want to give that data to uh, the system to the pc and then you wanted to learn and find patterns inside of that data so that the next time when he, uh, that per, that uh, system sees a question then they can understand the patterns over there and then they can find out the answer to uh, the problem right so i think that is really important understand how numpy pandas and uh, matplotlib work make some projects use kaggle kaggle is a great resource for you to find some data sets uh, you know, just, just uh, read through the data sets, what all attributes they have, how can you uh, use certain attributes to, to, to predict something, right? Uh, just do that. And once you've done that, there are two to three options for you that you can choose. So you have PyTorch, you have TensorFlow, and then you have Scikit-Learn, right? These are a few libraries that enable you to do a lot more operations. And uh, yeah, these are just more efficient and these are just great ways for you to write code uh, and build machine learning models. My personal choice is PyTorch if you are a beginner. PyTorch gives you a more Pythonic way of understanding how neural networks and uh, you know how machine learning models are implemented. And uh, I think that would be a great starting point for you. But once you have understood how they work, then you can go on to take up TensorFlow, right? How do you learn these? Well, it's pretty simple. Again, you can take up a Udemy course. You can uh, go on to Coursera. You can do some courses for free. And uh, you can also go to YouTube. I think there's a great 
collection of videos on YouTube as well. There is this uh, fast AI course on YouTube, which gives you a really, you know, uh, practical approach to understanding how machine learning works. So I think that is something that you can try out. It's really simple. Just go to YouTube, type a uh, fast AI courses and you will find a bunch of them. So get started with that. That will really help you all out a lot. And then you have to understand about the neural networks. What is a neural network? How can you use neural networks? Right. Uh, a great resource that you can use is uh, going on to YouTube and searching for Tech with Tim. Tech with Tim is a YouTuber. He has some great resources, some great courses that you can check out to learn about machine learning. And just go over and understand what a neural network is. It's, it's pretty simple. Don't get overwhelmed by you know the complex mathematical operations. It's pretty simple. You have to also learn about the mathematics behind machine learning, which is quite complex. I will uh, accept that. But uh, start small, right? Again, it's just it's no hurry. It will take you a lot of time because machine learning is actually a research oriented uh, field, to be honest with you, right? If you're going into web development, web development is just execution, right? It's not about research and all, but uh, machine learning is something that a lot of people are researching about. Okay, so that's just uh, a precaution that you have to take uh, in your mind. And then once you've done all of these things, you will find out that there are three parts of machine learning right uh, or deep learning you can call it so you have supervised machine learning then you have unsupervised machine learning and then you have something called as uh, genetic algorithms uh, and reinforcement learning right uh, don't get overwhelmed again as i said before just go to uh, supervised machine learning learn those step by step uh, logistic regression polynomial regression uh, just learn every single topic one by one make notes and make sure that you are making projects as well and host them on github right that is a great practice that you can always follow but do that then you'll go to uh, unsupervised machine learning do those make some projects host them on github that, that's just how it goes right you i hope you understand that and once you've done that then you can move on to create some uh, projects okay find out the most uh, common and the most famous data sets you have the titanic data set uh, from kaggle you have the mnist data set you have cfar 10 data set uh, just, just search up uh, about these data sets online and you will find tons of resources about them. Just read up on them, download them maybe and just try to look up and understand what all is there. The most important part about building a model is to make sure that your uh, data set is, is top quality. Okay, data sets have to be great for you to create a great model that would predict something that would be accurate and that would actually be helpful to someone. So uh, the most important part is to start small and make sure that your data is uh, you know properly arranged into a good data set right that is something that is really important make sure that your data is not skewed uh, you know just make sure that it, it is well made okay and once you've done that then we can move on to uh, making sure that you know how to visualize these results that you've gotten from uh, your machine learning models and if you want to do that a great uh, software to use is called as tableau okay tableau is used for you to show and visualize your results from your machine learning models right so that is something that you can also try out but yeah i i hope i'm not overwhelming you let me know in the comments but uh, this is just how you can get started with machine learning once you've done a great amount of uh, projects then you can move on to doing some research as well uh, this is a really vast field and uh, you know five seven eight minutes will not be enough for this but this was just a quick walkthrough of how can you get started I hope you learned something from this. Go and execute and learn these skills. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.